In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to use the shader wizard to create a simple color inversion post-processing effect. Here we already have a setup quad and post-process layer with a material that currently has no shader. So let's simply add a new shader using the shader wizard and name it invert. Uh, we will need a texture UV coordinate for the post-processing post texture, and we will need the post-processing texture itself. Uh, the UV mapping is going to be UV1 that we have just selected, and these are all of the attributes and textures we will be needing for this simple effect. This will create a folder with the fragment and vertex shader, or shader already in it. You just need to save the project and now you can double click and it will open in your preferred editor. So here we already have uh, some code generated. We have a texture sampler. So this vector 4 will already have the color of our post-processing texture. All we need to do is uh, subtract these values from 1.0 to get the inverted colors. So let's create a new vector. So we need to write 1.0 minus post process color R and the same thing for green and blue. Uh, in our um, shader language, it's important to always use uh, 1.0 as opposed to 1 because that would uh, give a uh, compiler error. And the alpha is going to be the same as it was. We can just um, do this or we can write 1.0 instead because it's a post-processing texture and we do always want it to be 1.0. Now this is already a completed invert shader, except we need to return it instead of the sampled color. And here we just need to select the post-processing texture and it's already working. 